This video was sponsored by the Nick Morn Foundation. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 of the most interesting, eco-friendly and sustainable homes. From tree houses to eco-domes, we've selected a range of homes which all have their own unique qualities and vary in size, shape and budget. To start things off, we are visiting a building in England known as the Passive House Treehouse. This house was designed to have minimal impact on the surrounding trees and aimed to preserve the natural habitat of the site. It has been certified by the Passive House standard, which means it is incredibly energy efficient due to its air tightness and insulation. It is predominantly made from wood and sits on stilts to minimise its impact on the ground. There has also been no concrete used on the site, which is good news, as this is a material often scrutinised for its CO2 emissions. The windows inside of the home frame views out to nature, similar to how traditional Japanese houses do. This connection to nature is a constant reminder to the homeowner of the beautiful environment that the house sits in. This next home was put together in just three days. It was made using a process known as prefabrication, which involves creating the entire home off-site in a factory. This minimises waste, site disruption and transportation, which ultimately reduces the carbon footprint of the building. This home was made in three separate chunks, with all the fixtures and fittings already installed in the factory. This meant that when it arrived on site, it could simply be connected together like a jigsaw. Prefabrication is a fantastic way to reduce the carbon footprint of a build, as it maximises the efficiency and reduces the chances of error and wasted material. This eco home also follows the low waste theme of the last one by reusing old shipping containers. Shipping container buildings can be delivered ready made to almost any site as they are the perfect size for transportation. There are almost 20 million containers which have been deserted on land and this number is only set to rise. Shipping container homes are being scrutinised as they are often made from new containers which defeats the purpose of using them from an eco-friendly standpoint. However, if you want to hear more about the pros and cons of these buildings, then be sure to check out this video we made where we visit a range of shipping container projects to try and find out whether or not they are actually a feasible form of sustainable design. Now this next building claims to be the most eco-friendly design of them all. It is called an earth ship and is created based on the idea that there are six human needs which can be addressed through sustainable building design. Number one is energy from solar and wind. Two is rubbish management from reusing and recycling. Three is creating shelter with natural and recycled materials such as from old car tires. 4 is harvesting rainwater, 5 is growing your own food, and 6 is treating sewage by feeding the wastewater to the plants, creating a closed loop system. There are a variety of eco ships, from very basic shelters to earth ship mansions. We'll be visiting some examples very soon on the Going Green channel, so make sure you hit subscribe. Homes which are covered with earth have fantastic insulation and thermal properties and that is why this next home makes the list as it is almost entirely covered by earth. It is located in central Texas where there is an extremely hot climate during the day. The layer of earth over the house acts as a barrier from the heat which dramatically reduces the need for air conditioning indoors. The building simply lifts the ground above therefore doesn't disrupt the surrounding wildlife passing through. This next house can rotate in every direction, giving the homeowner panoramic views of the surrounding Italian countryside. The house follows the sun's path through the sky and efficiently generates a substantial amount of energy. The house also gets additional energy from a heat pump down below. This is one of the most expensive types of eco homes, as the mechanical system to spin the home would have cost a lot of money. However, the homeowner is able to recuperate some of that money through the increased energy efficiency of the solar panels. The eco homes I've shown you so far tend to look different to conventional buildings. However, this next one attempts to blend into the surrounding neighborhood with its pitched roof. 
The owner decided to replace the unused attic space with a rooftop garden to grow his own food. This building is also entirely made from wood, which is one of the most sustainable materials available. These eco-homes are designed to optimise the amount of interior space while having a small overall footprint. They are made using sustainable and recycled boards and come with solar panels and plant walls already installed. They take just one day to construct and can be placed anywhere as they are delivered like flat pack furniture. Rammed earth is an ancient building technique where raw materials such as chalk, lime and gravel are pressed to form walls. These buildings are becoming more popular in the modern day due to their eco credentials. Materials for this building have been sourced from the surrounding area and the rammed earth gives the building great thermal mass which prevents the inside temperatures from fluctuating throughout the day. This is an example of vernacular architecture which means it is a building that uses local materials and knowledge. This is said to be the most sustainable way of designing as it eliminates huge carbon emissions from transportation. Finally, bamboo is said to be one of the world's most sustainable building materials due to how quick it can grow. By the time that this home was built, all of the bamboo chopped down for the construction had already regrown. We got the chance to see some of these bamboo buildings last year and we were able to speak with some of the craftsmen. They told us that bamboo only takes 4 years to reach its harvesting age, whereas other forms of timber require at least 30 years to reach maturity. This means that the material is much more renewable and therefore should be considered in more housing developments. Bamboo is now being processed into building blocks, which means that we may soon be seeing entire timber constructions made solely from bamboo, as it becomes a cheaper and more sustainable source of building material. Many of the examples shown in this video work particularly well in certain climates, but wouldn't be practical in other climates. For example, this bamboo home wouldn't work in England. This is why there isn't one single standalone design for an eco-home, as the building must respond to the climate that it is situated in. Eco-homes are becoming increasingly popular as people become more aware of their environmental impact, so it is likely that we'll see much more of these homes in the near future. Let us know in the comments your favourite eco-home, and please leave this video a like if you enjoyed it, as it really helps out the channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next Going Green video.